Hello YouTube and welcome back. This is now part 5 of the Xamarin tutorial series. Got a lot of stuff more to do in the future. Fortunately, you know, you got finals week coming up. Gotta have priorities, but try to put some more videos out there for you guys. So, today we're going to be manipulating some buttons. Now, obviously, we need to create a new form. Just go ahead, click on your portable, right click on it, add new item. Form XAML page. Now we can just name this buttons. We can also go into our main page. And this is going to be our second item in the list. Just name it after the first one, pretty much. Some button examples. Now we're going to have to navigate to it. This actually has to be push. Don't type what I just typed. All right. Now go into our buttons. We're just going to be working with the XAML page. So take out the button that it creates for us. We can create a title. We're just going to do what we did last time and create a stack layout. Go with the orientation vertical. Alright, now we're going to just create three buttons. Button 1. Button 2. and button 3. Alright. We can actually go ahead and just run this on the app, make sure everything's showing up for us. There we go. Button examples and 1, 2, and 3. Of course they don't, they don't do anything because we haven't assigned anything, but they work. Now there's not too many things you can do with the buttons. Uh, first thing we'll do is change the background color. We'll make that a nice, yeah, nice blue. And we can also change the text color. We'll change that to a nice shade of red. You can go ahead and run this and see how it changed. There we go. Blue background, red text. Obviously works as it should. Another thing that we can actually do is manipulate the horizontal and vertical options. So go with horizontal options equals center and vertical options equals center. Now this should make it in the very dead center of the page. Okay, well it didn't make it in the exact center of the page, but it's more in the center. Alright, well we'll just leave it like that, but we'll just change the text to centered. And this one is, we'll just call it colorful. Now for button 3, We'll go and we'll change it. We'll say it's wacky. So we're going to change the rotation of this. And we'll rotate this guy by 270. And we'll also change its border width. We'll give that a nice 20. We're going to make this a really thick border. All right, well that is a little bit too wacky. All right, what we're gonna do to fix this is just not have it rotate so much. We'll have it just rotate 20 degrees. 
and that should make it much cleaner looking. And in some sense, but you know what we're trying to go for. Alright, well that's it for this tutorial. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching.